back to my channel. Today, um, as you can see from the title, obviously, I'm going to be doing my pregnancy symptoms from trimester 1 through trimester 3, which is where I'm at right now. Um, I have about six weeks left of my pregnancy. I have some notes on my phone here, so I might be looking back and forth. So, trimester number 1. Um, I have here 1, 2, 3, 4, 5 symptoms that I wrote down. There might be more that I might remember as the video goes on, but this is what I can remember when I was taking notes for the video. So, heightened sense of smell and um, sensitive sensitivity to smell. Oh my gosh, this was probably one of the worst things out of all the symptoms. Ah! My sense of smell was so... It still is pretty good, but at the, the first trimester it was just insane. My sense of smell was just crazy. I would smell something from a mile away this is what made me throw up actually twice i've only thrown i only threw up three times throughout my i've only thrown up three times throughout my whole tribe throughout my whole pregnancy um oh pregnancy brain that's another one i have to write down high incense to smell it was horrible because we sent the farts all the time and that's the reason that's the reason that I fart that I farted. <laughs> That's the reason that I threw up the first time was because of you sent this fart. We we're all taking a picture the day before Christmas in front of the Christmas tree at his aunt's house. And it was it was just all the cousins. We were all crammed in together by the Christmas tree. And Vicente was kind of like kneeling down and I was standing up. And I don't know what the heck happened or why the heck he thought that this was fine, a right place to do this, but he farted. And as soon as he farted, I smelled it and I was like, and I just looked at him, but I was like, w did he fart? Like, was that really a fart? And I'm dumb because I took another like whiff of his fart and he said, all right, let's get out of here. I just farted. And when he said that, like, it's like if I smelled it 10 times worse, oh, honestly, I couldn't even t talk about it. I honestly couldn't even talk about it in my first trimester because of how disgusted I was all the time for every little thing. So as soon as he farted and he said that he farted, I ran outside the house because I started gagging and I just threw up everything. We had tamales and I had had hot chocolate from Starbucks right before too. I threw all that up and I was throwing up for a good few minutes. Like it would just keep coming and coming and coming. And... He didn't even know I was throwing up. So I was outside with his cousins that I had just told I was pregnant. Thank God that they knew or else they would have been like, what the heck is wrong with this girl? Um, and then his brother was there with me too. And his brother had to come in the house and tell him that I was throwing up because he didn't know. I don't know how he didn't notice me literally run out the door and as I was gagging. So I did have a lot of nausea, nausea. I like saying nausea. I don't know how you guys say it. Sorry if that bothers you, <laughs> but um, I was very nauseous all the time, especially when I ate. So it was super hard for me to eat a com eat a full meal, sitting down and just like eating. I couldn't. I literally probably took at least an hour each video. I'm, <laughs> I'm telling you, pregnancy brain is real, you guys. I literally took an hour or more each meal just to finish my food because I would just be so nauseous. Um, fatigue. This, 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 besides the, um, nausea must have been the worst symptom of all because I was tired all the time and I felt so bored and so, I just felt bad for Vicente because I would get home from work. I was usually closing around that time, so I'd probably get home like around 7. Sometimes I'd bring food home. We'd eat. As soon as we as soon as we finished eating, I'd lay down and I'd fall asleep. So I'd fall asleep like around 7.38, and then I wouldn't wake up again until around 7 in the morning. I would wake up a couple times to go to the restroom because that's another um, symptom that I had. I had to go to the restroom a lot in the middle of the night. But I would crash right back out and that was probably one of the most annoying because I did want to get things done. But I was literally just so exhausted all the time that I couldn't. Okay, next symptom was sore breasts. My breasts were so, so sore. They hurt so bad at the beginning. I would literally be laying down on my side and just to move around to the next side, I felt like I had to like hold them really tight. Because any movement would just kill me. It hurt so bad. That was just not it, girl. 
and I had back pain. I've had back pain throughout each trimester. Right now I don't have so much, which I'm very thankful for. Um, but back pain was really bad too. It was really hard for me to switch from side to side when I was sleeping at night. So Vicente would actually have to get up from the bed when we were both sleeping and help me turn over. Because obviously when you're laying on one side the whole night, I don't know if it happens to you, but it definitely happens to me. The side of me gets sore and like tired or numb or something. So I have to switch to the next. So that was another one that was horrible. Okay, that's all I have um, on my notes for my first but, trimester. Um, second trimester was definitely the best trimester of all. It was when I started feeling myself again. I didn't have so much nausea. I didn't, um, nausea, <laughs> nausea, nausea. I don't know, I'm sorry. Um, I felt myself the most. I did start to grow a little belly, but you feel so much more energized and rejuvenated. So that was amazing to me. But... I also had back pain really, really bad when I was asleep. I wouldn't be able to switch from side to side without Vicente's help or without, um, I've noticed what helps me now is holding the backboard of the bed um, and using that as support because I feel bad waking up Vicente every time that I want to switch, you know? I mean, I still do sometimes because of the noise that I'm making. I'm like moaning and groaning because of how painful it is, but um, whatever. Itchiness. My stomach started getting so itchy and I was so afraid that my stretch marks were going to start coming in and I was going to get a bunch and that the itching wasn't going to stop and I was just going to not be able to resist the scratching. But that only lasted for a very little bit and I thank God for that because I hate being itchy. It's just anybody would. It's annoying. Appetite increases. In the second trimester is really when my appetite um, started increasing. But it wasn't to, it wasn't so bad like it is now. Like I get really, really hungry now. But my appetite did increase, so I did um, include more snacks throughout the day. More um, trail mix is what I had a lot in my second trimester. Discharge. Discharge is the worst. It's like that was okay. It's not the worst at all, but I just hated it. I hated going to the restroom. I would finish, come out, and then I would feel. The discharge come out and that's what i hated i hated that i literally just got out the bathroom finished wiping washed my hands everything and then i felt the discharge come out and i have to go back to the bathroom and wipe again because nobody likes that feeling you know um so yeah that was a lot second trimester and it's really 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 died down now which is amazing urgency to pee second trimester more than now, which is funny, I just had a huge urgency to pee. I peed so much throughout the day. Mood swings. Mood swings my second trimester were really, really bad. Vicente will not hesitate to tell you that. I do think a little part of it could have been this whole COVID situation, you know? I was home all the time, alone, bored, anxious, nervous, scared, you name it. So I feel like that also played a huge part in my mood swings. But I know it's mostly because of the pregnancy. I mean, your hormones are insane throughout your pregnancy. So I know that the main reason for my mood swings was because I'm pregnant. And I have been well, I have been way more aware of that to kind of control it. Because I know it's not, nobody wants to be with somebody who's nagging or somebody who's laughing one second and then crying or upset the next second. Literally, my mood can change in one second and I hate it. That was really, 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 really bad my second trimester. Really bad. And sorry if you sent it. I know it was annoying. But I'm really trying to just be aware that it's happening so that I could try to control it the most, you know? All right, so now it looks like we're into trimester number three. Some of the symptoms from the very beginning of my third trimester have kind of faded away like the back pain. Um, rather than so much back pain, I've been having pain down there. So my pain down there is because baby's head is now down. So her most heavy part of her body is putting pressure down there. So in the middle of the night when I'm asleep is again when it gets the worst. It's hard for me to turn over in the middle of the night because the pressure down there just doesn't let you move your... Just doesn't let you use your lower body if, if that makes sense. So if you notice when you're moving in the middle of the night switching sides you're using your lower body to get to the other side. And that's what I struggle with the most 
right right now in the middle of the night it's horrible it's so painful i have to use more of my upper body to move my lower body which is kind of hard but when i hold vicente's hand or like put my hand on his chest or use my backboard of the bed that really helps all right next one swelling i've been getting so swollen it's so embarrassing because my feet just look like a bear's foot what i've been doing is just elevating them elevating them drinking a lot of water I've noticed that that really does help um, and the more that I'm on my feet the worse my feet are gonna get so I've been really trying this these last few weeks to um to just not be on my feet even though that's hard because you have to clean you have to cook um, exercise walk you know whatever I'm doing that um, involves me standing up me being on my feet I just elevate them and then they feel better. They don't get completely better, they still stay a little swollen, but they it does relieve my swelling a lot, a lot, a lot. Also my hands get very swollen in the night when I'm asleep. When um, I wake up, I notice that my hands just get very swollen in the middle of the night and it hurts to even just close them like this um, because they just feel so fat. But throughout the day, for some reason, it goes down and I don't have that issue. It's just in the night where that really, 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 really bothers me. I forgot to add second and third trimester shortness of breath. I notice because I'm talking right now and it's hard for me to talk because I'm running out of breath. So appetite, my appetite this trimester is way much worse than my, fir than my first and second trimester. Um, my appetite has definitely increased, I remember it was so bad about two or three weeks ago where literally every two hours on the dot, I was starving. Like, it was like I hadn't even ate. So I was eating literally every two hours. Um, now I don't have to do that anymore. I don't know what's changed, but I don't have to do that anymore. I eat every few hours um, and I'm okay. The last one for third trimester that I have is it's a lot harder to sleep right now. Um, the baby is in a... Well, she's very, very active in the night when I'm going to sleep. So it makes it a little harder to fall asleep because she's moving a lot or I'll be on one side and then you'll I'll really feel her kicks on this side. And so it just feels like, uh, it feels like I'm squishing her almost. And then I'm like, okay, let me switch to the other side. Mind you, it's hard to switch sides. So then I'm taking my time to get to the other side and she moves over here. And so it's just like a game that we're playing. Um, me and her, which is kind of cute, but it makes it hard to sleep. I experienced only two leg cramps that I know a lot of moms experience throughout pregnancy. And I thank God that it's only happened to me twice because I've never experienced a cramp so bad and so hard. I remember being sore for probably about three days in a row for on my calf just because of the cramp that I got. It literally... Throughout all my years of playing basketball, I experienced a lot of cramps, but that was the worst one ever. I think um, that's all the symptoms that I've experienced from trimester one through trimester three to where I'm at right now. I'm sure more symptoms will come up, but um, that's really it. Can't think of anything else. All right, um, so that is the end of the video. Those are all of the symptoms that I can think of right now. Thank you guys so much for watching. Thank you guys for coming back to my channel even though I haven't posted for a long time and to anybody new who's watching thank you so much um, please don't forget to like comment share and subscribe and yeah